Good morning. I wanted to talk today about be the change you seek. Often we want things in life. We want more peace, more abundance, more um, creative expression. We want more satisfaction in our life experience. We have to begin, if it's going to be effective, to be the change we seek. And our self-talk is very important because word begets action. Action creates character. Character results in destiny. We've said this many times, and it's still true. So you have to begin to talk to yourself about the change you want and begin to model or pretend in other words, pretend a virtue till you have one. Pretend the virtue until you have it. Then you create an environment of that change. And therefore, the world will begin to reflect it back to you. It's been said, if you take a color, for example, and you image or you look at this color very clearly, you, you look at the color orange, for example, then throughout the day you will see orange all day long. So there's some, tr and you can use that as a test. And it doesn't matter what color you use, you use any color you want. And all of a sudden, that color will be dominant in your experience. So if you want a change in your life, if you want more peace, if you want to be more productive, if you want to, whatever it is you want, then you begin to be that change. If you want, for example, more abundance in your life, then you refrain from impulse spending. You only spend money when it's necessary to spend it. And then you spend it and let that be all right. But over a period of time, you will create abundance. A fortune is often squandered a quarter at a time. So look for those small places you can make those adjustments to increase your abundance. Then you don't say, I don't have any money, but rather you say, I choose not to spend the money I have. I choose to hold it so that I have abundance, so that you never have to say to yourself, I don't have any money. Or, I don't have what I need. So you begin to be the change you seek. If someone wants more peace in their life, then they have to cultivate being peaceful. They have to do the things in their experience that will give them peace. And often it is simply taking care of the mundane. It's doing the dishes, doing the laundry, balancing the checkbook, paying the bills, whatever it is. Those things, those small things, give you peace. It's the details of life that make up the larger picture. If you want a clean house, then you sweep the floor. You put the dishes away, you do the laundry, you fold the clothes, you don't leave them in a heap in the middle of the floor. And over time, you will have a more tidy experience, which if that is part of what gives you peace, then it will come. So you want to be the change you seek. And we have been recently talking a great deal about being in the moment. The moment is all you have. There isn't anything else. This moment is here at this time. In this moment, I can ex access divine mind, supreme intelligence. I can access my dreams. I can access my uh, aspiration. I can access what is mine to do, and then I do it. And then life begins to change. It's when you're always futuring or always pasting. Well, you know, I can't be any different because I had this wretched childhood. Well, the childhood is over. It's only there in your mind, and you only sustain it by the thought you hold. 
So change your thoughts. Give it up. Let it go. Come into present time. Be willing to be in present time. And then, then, when you do this, grace will intervene. Grace will intervene. If I am willing to meet you today as I am and as you are today, we do not have to bring forward the past. We can each choose to be different. We can each choose to embrace the moment, and out of that we have a richness of experience. And the experience will go places that we could not imagine. We have the power to create whatever we want. But we have this idea that we have to create it out there, that there will be a miracle change. No, that's not the way it works. If you want to get stronger, you work the muscles every day. And you incrementally work them more. And over a period of time, you will get stronger. I don't care what your condition is. It will change. And then there is, at some point, divine intervention. At some point, there is grace, which says, ah, yes, you have done the things you know to do, and so here, here is the bonus. But if you don't do the things you know to do, the grace won't come. And it won't come not because it's being withheld, but because you didn't open the door. You open the door. You say, I want, this is the door I want to go through, the door of peace, the door of abundance, the door of more awareness, the, the door of a greater skill in some area. Whatever you do on a daily basis, I promise you, you will get better at it. So if you complain every day, you're going to get better and better at it. If you resent every day, you will be more and more resentful. If you are loving, if you cultivate loving thoughts, or you cultivate your garden, or you cultivate having a clean house, the house will get cleaner. It's inevitable. Whatever you do on a daily basis, you will get better at. And if you want to learn to play the piano, that's wonderful. But don't go out into the garden, because no matter how much you garden, and no matter how wonderful your garden is, your piano playing skills will not improve. That's the nature of things. You must do what it is you seek to do. If you want to um, be a better public speaker, then speak. Find venues in which you can speak, and you will increase your ability. It's the nature of things. If you look at individuals, whether it's musicians or whether it's public speakers or whether it's painters or whether it's gardeners, whatever it is, as they do it over the years, they improve. That, that is the nature of life. Be the change you seek. Be the change you seek, and the change will come. Because you will create, on a metaphysical level, a vibratory rate which will draw it to you. It has to. There isn't any other way. If you are angry and frustrated, then you will draw anger and frustration. It's all... Out here is all about what's in here. So change what's in here, and that out there will inevitably change and alter. It will be incremental. It will not happen quickly. It will happen over time. But you will be amazed at the change you can bring about by cultivating that which you seek. And it's about being present in the moment. Because as I have said before, the future is your construct. Divine mind, supreme intelligence, God, does not operate in what you perceive as the future. Divine mind, supreme intelligence, God, does not operate in the past. It operates now, in this moment. So when you become present in this moment, then you too can access that. And life will change and alter. Be the change you seek.